Alright well, guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is an old thing from uh, 2003. Um, how do I explain this? Uh, it, it was from Mega Blocks. They released this line a while back. It's uh, got the box here. It is the block box or transforming block box. So, hold on, transforming block bots cyborgs versus mutroids. This is one of the mutroids. This is a warp, and uh, this was complete at a charity shop. And hell, it still has the factory. It was. This is how it was. Hadn't even been opened. So I got this mint in box for eight eight no, eight fifty, which I think was a damn good deal considering this thing's from the year two thousand and three. Now, when you do, you get this opening flap here, you get a comic book, actual size, it says it's actual size, rapid transformation from robot to weapon platform, um, yeah, I, I can understand that, uh, you do have to part form it, and it comes with a little mini comic here, as you can see, the writing is here, it's all about raw liquid, uh, pours into the creature and it warp, makes warp come alive, and then, uh, he kind of fights uh, one of the other characters, uh, Clash, and he kind of defeats him. Squeeze backpack for some sliming action. We'll talk about that a bit later. Working slingshots. And there's this disgusting thing. And yes, it sticks to about everything it gets. It's worse than glue. Not really. Uh, I'm just saying that. So here's the front of the box. The top. The side. The code number. This is number... Um, 9375 contains 105 pieces and is rate, rate recommended for ages 7 and up. I was about 7 when this thing came out, you know. This thing came out in 2003 and I'm 21 now, so you can imagine how excited, how happy I am to see this. Build your own and build and transform your own 11 fully, uh, fully articulated uh, 11 inch fully articulated battling robots includes working weapon and action feature 105 pieces. Here's the back. Now when I was younger, uh, I actually had one of these. I had dread uh, I don't have them anymore. In fact, the only thing I have left of them is a missile. But there is one on eBay that's quite cheap, about nine nine forty five, I think. So I might be able to get him. Uh, and then there's Strife, who went for about I think fourteen pounds. I think fourteen ninety five. Clash is the worst one to get. He runs for sixty five pounds. <laughs> yeah, just let that sink in there for a second. He runs for sixty five pounds. I don't quite get the logic behind that one. Now, they used to have pumping liquid, so you pump a button on their stomach or, or abdomen section, it pumps the liquid all through their head. These guys have something very foul. Uh, his, is the his is the foulest. His looks a bit like toxic ooze, but this guy's is the most disgusting. We'll talk about that. Now, when you open it, obviously you get the parts. Now, I have got them in his canning configuration, so you do have these left over and the syringe. I'm not showing... Um, I want to kind of keep the keep the slime concealed. So we've got an arm, we've got a pelvis, and we've got this gross thing. I'll show how that works. So here is the main canister of the units itself. And I must admit, this thing does actually look quite nice. I have angled it up. Um, I do quite like the way this looks. Uh, it's good. Now, to get the actual slingshot in it, come on. This piece does have to come off. Uh, which it is, but ironically mine wasn't separate in the package, even though it says in your stock, just put it on. Feed this through here, I don't know if you can see, and then kind of just press the bugger down because it will stick in that little dish section. Then, click that back on, and feed it up here, and, whoop, that didn't quite work. Uh, I'll angle it there so you can sort of see what's going on here. Not the best working feature. Let me pull it back. There we go. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. You've got to put it back really damn fine. It says this maximum. Of, this thing strength stretches about maximum of fourteen inches. Absolute bollocks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I can imagine this being like a whip and attacking other characters. So I'll pop that to the side. I do have a little baggie for it still. I was like, I'm keeping a baggie for that. Uh, now we'll transform him, uh, parts forming at its finest. So, remove the head. Um, these are all bendy wire, by the way, which I think is really cool. Um, then, remove the feet and straighten them. Are they in the right spot? Yes, they are, so you can see the character clearly. 
Um, remove the front assembly. Remove the front support assembly. Ugh. Take these side covers and oh, tap them on there like that. Remove that. That's the body done with. Uh, then take these. Take them apart. This is the arm. So we'll look like that. And then this is a bigger one. It's actually longer, as you can see. So you want that to be your thigh. God, my hair's in my face, sorry. Uh, and this has to go this way. That piece is an MOC. Um, I did have these attached to knees like that. Just to kind of um, give them a bit of knee pad. But for the sake of the review, we're not going to do that. Uh, so this is, these are the legs. Torso. Uh, also, this was supposed to be like that. I didn't like it like that, and I still don't like it like that because it makes his arm really stubby. So I have it like that to give him a bit of a longer arm. And you put it like that. Oh, uh, but by the way, that does happen a lot. By the way, uh, when he's in weapon mode, the feet clip here and the leg and the uh, that's legs, like the arms and legs, the front assembly parts clip here. So that's why he's got two clips and, and plus it shows in case you're. I'm just showing now in case you're wondering how the guy assembles. Now you're probably thinking, where the hell does he, where the hell does his head go? Well, that piece just mounts right on top of here. Now here is warp. Um, let me just angle the box up here so you can see him a bit better. He is spectacular looking. I love the detail on these pieces. There's a lot of nice dry brushing that's going on. Now, unfortunately, this guy has one major problem. Just look at his eyes on there for a sec. He looks like he's dead or offline because in the box his eyes are red and in the comic they're also red so that's a bit stupid and on this and on the prototype shots they're also red hell although what's weird is an instruction manual are black and yes you do get this and it shows you how to Work the slime, shows you your building processes to convert it, and it literally shows you the steps to make it all. And also, you get a promotional booklet of other Mega Bloks products at the time. I, full enough, had that one there. And I'll tell you what else I had at this time. I had these two. My dad sold them, unfortunately, because I never used them after a while, which kind of sucked. <laughs> now, here's the part where we need this. This is going to be disgusting. <laughs> but first of all, this comes off. Yes, the slime goes through his head. I'm going to warn you guys right now. This is going to be one of the most disgusting, repulsive things you have ever seen on the internet. By the way, this, this uh, syringe has two ports. You do get two holes in the back. So when you're not using this, you can clip it in there. So basically what you do is you clip it through there and do not use this on any carpeted surface. Any any carpets, this thing will stay. Now just now hold on, let me just see. Can you guys see that? Right, yes you can. Be warned, this is this is probably gonna make you vomit. It's Yeah, and then when you suck it back and doesn't and then just push it forward. Yeah, that's pretty foul. It's funny, really. It's quite funny, I, th I think. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I would have liked if the slums come in like a luminous yellow, really. That would be kind of cool. But unfortunately, it's... it's not green, which is it's not good. Never again am I doing that pun. Actually, I can't say that because I probably will. But look at it. He looks, looks like he's just sneezed. Or as one of the people at my uh, stop motion, my uh, media place said, it's what flies do when they eat. They vomit all over it to die, to burn, to melt it all away. And then they eat it. Uh, right now. There is one more thing he came with, actually. Which is this tub. That has more slime in it. Now, this slime is a lot more disgusting in person because it's actually snot cut. I've got the flash on my camera. So what we're going to do is kind of pull some of this out. Get it in there, and unfortunately, it sticks everywhere. And it's this is the I'm surprised. That, like, when I opened I opened this toy like eight years, and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that everything was in top working condition. 
mainly just slime. And they're probably wondering, how the hell do you clear that head out? <laughs> well, we're going to detach it. And we're going to just blow through there. Like, as you can see, you put your mouth. And that is about, as it sounds horrible. That is gross. So you pull it all out, pop it in there. And it does recommend to wash it in warm soapy water. And I would do that if I were you, but I found a way to get the slime out without needing that. Um, detach this faceplate and then get this upside down. And where those are, just blow. <laughs> and you'll find that it just comes out <laughs> really easily. I just left a bit in there. God, it looks like I've sneezed a lot of my hands under this stuff. I hope that Strife is not the same colour slum. I don't think he will be. And what does that result in after doing that? And then the pot is nice and clean. Mostly. So. That just goes right back on there. I don't know why I spoke like that. And this just goes right back here. And there we have a clean figure again. Um... Pardon me. Now this guy is about 11 inches tall. So we're going to take our Daryl Dixon, our 10 inch McFarlane toy, and we're going to scale him. Uh, I do wonder, no, you see these things have never been encountered by people. I assume the cyborgs are the same size as people. So, I don't know how this works really. These guys are freaking huge. This is a pretty big piece. It's pretty big. Um, so... Yeah, we'll just move Daryl out of the way. Now, the articulation is good for its time, but it fail. It, it does hold up to modern standards. Some, pose, some parts of the posability that you need are not here. So, let's get into it. The head does absolutely nothing. By the way, the syringe does clip on the back, like I said, and you can, you know, I don't know. Uh, the arms fare quite well. They have a a forward, a 360 ratchet joint. They can also go out to the side, up that far. You get a single hinge at the elbow, which bends about 90 degrees both ways. Both ways, provided pieces don't fly off. This is the problem. I'm contemplating gluing this guy together, uh, but I don't. Don't want to do that because it's Lego. We all know the rules about Lego. You don't glue it together. So it bends that way, which is quite painful, I can imagine. And it will also rotate on that joint as well. Exactly the same for the other side. These shoulder pads will move out the way. They are on hinges. You have 360 degree waist articulation, provided you remove the backpack. Once you move the backpack, you can swivel your waist all the way around, resulting in a very, very boring looking back. I do wish I had more detail. Fortunately, the syringe makes up for that just by plugging it in and hiding that ugly black, that ugly plain jet black part. Uh, the legs fare pretty decently. They go, well, they go up about that far. Uh, not the greatest, but it's because of all those blocks there. So they go up about that far. Uh, they do hinge out pretty decently. They go about that far. You get a single hinge at the knee, which bends about 90 degrees. And it will also rotate. Uh, so you could... I'm thinking you could get this guy in some poses. But, like, with the way the legs are, you're going to struggle. Mainly because the guy is... Quite a top heavy piece. Uh, I'm, I'm actually trying hard here to pose him. I'm probably. Oh no, that's that's the best I can do to be honest, given the time I've got for the video. Um, yeah, his posability is not really that. Right. He's got all the main joints, but without any feet joints, and the fact that he's so top heavy, he really, really can't do very much. And another little piece has popped off. The problem with Mega Blocks back in those days was their clutch power's absolute poo. 
Um, yes, their clutch power was terrible. For those of you who are wondering, yes, you can still use a slingshot in his robot mode. Um, God, saying robot mode makes sound like a Transformer fan. Oh wait, I am, but we're not reviewing Transformers. Uh, so it goes in there just like that. Press it down to stick it into place. Shove this in. Oops. So you want to hook it around this main middle claw part. Not like that. Sorry. This is a pain. Or you can just swing him and... Oh, that actually flew out. That's not right. So yeah, you can just basically swing this around and whip it. I'll show you just how sticky this finger. I'm going to whip it now just by you holding it in my hand. It was... <laughs> it stuck to the wall! Wow, that actually stuck... That actually cling... That's got some good cling power. Wow. Bloody hell, that's got some awesome cling power. Let's just move... Uh... Sorry, you didn't see that at all. Let me try... Look at that! That has got some... Man, that thing's got some cling to it. Jeez, that's actually really good. That's actually kind of cool. And by the way, it does have sculpting on the underside. Which is... Pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so that's my view. Overall, I like this piece, and I do think it has a great load of potential. However... Lack of articulation and parts falling off all the time severely let this thing down. However, for its time, it was amazing. And it still holds up today in many ways. Dry brushing and detail effects are top notch. Uh, build quality is good. Bricks are good quality. It's just the, um, the clutch power on some of them leaves a lot to be desired. Again, that's only a few. Most of the blocks on here actually hold on really, really well. Uh, which is surprising because Megablocks had a bit of a record for not having blocks that fit in properly. Um, detailing is good. Gimmicks, uh, well, action features, I think, work amazingly. And you've got all the necessary joints you need, minus the feet and the head. Uh, again, you, you know... Oh, by the way, these do come off. Um, they are separate in the package, in case you're wondering. Those are... They're just tabbing right there. Uh, you know, again... It works. It just works. And he looks the part. He looks like some steampunk cyborg um, sort of... No pun intended, because that's literally what the line is about. He looks like some kind of post-apocalyptic mutant thing. Even though these guys are called Mutroids. He does look really good. He's even got rivet detailing there, for crying out loud. And it's painted as well. It's, it's just beautiful. Toys these days don't have nearly this much imagination. I mean... The box artwork is good for crying. Look at that. And yes, you do get that little creature down there. I actually had that one. But the ball joints, well, the sockets were clear plastic. I'll leave that to the eyes. Well, I'll leave to you for you to... The, the... Basically, I'll leave you to think about that one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically clear plastic breaks all the time. So yeah, this guy is pretty good. Um, I'm going to give him... A 7 out of 10. He was a great thing at his time. And um, he's just got a few flaws that do hold him back. Other than that, he is fantastic. If you can find one of these cheap, go ahead, pick it up. Surprise yourself. You never know what you might find with these things. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.